Thanks. Uh, Nathan? Nathan? What? Oh, yeah. Okay. You all right? Yeah. How do I look? Like 400 million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? Know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. <sighs> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamn. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm-hmm. Let's, uh, let's try keeping them alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What? What about that? Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um, like I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the guards see us <laughs> making for that cross... But they don't see us. Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for lights, for lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical. That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. And that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. There's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusati, signore. <clears throat> Antipasti? Hey. Mosse. Hi. Next How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? That will work. All right, all right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. What? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything, uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right, listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready? All right, follow me. I'll cut through the cellar. You gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chucked it up going vegan. Scusi? Are you kidding me? Hell no. You see, I thought I had a real And la prima volta che viene. Sam was just through there. Let's go. This place is fancy. 
Excuse me. Of course they please. Douchey European techno. Pardon me? Just run it like the old days, okay? I do the interference, you'll make the grab, right? Yeah. Good. Go. in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. So out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker, even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. 
on the map. Be right back. Date? Did you catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Nadine Ross? Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> Let's do it. I gotta find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. I lure one out of the kitchen, probably. And let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. This skate wasn't on the blueprint. <clears throat> Locked, of course. Okay, plan B. up there. Nathan, come check this out. There we go. Let there be light. About electrical in this joint. Don't suppose you brought a... Yeah, that'll do. I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Let's see. Need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something that tells me that's not gonna fly.
Hey, uh, should we worry that Victor's chatting up Nadine Ross? I heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about something. I can talk his way out of anything. This way. Hey, look, the vents. That's our way out. Yeah, I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding the lighter. Holding the lighter. Okay, up we go. Right there. Yeah, that's smaller than it looked, huh? <laughs> and a lot more dusty. Shh, shh, shh. Damn it. Waiters. And Baldy looks like my size, too. There's no shortage of waiters around here. rubati ai ricettatori fresh air here we come hey check this out See that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? The what? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? Ah, must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Bingo. Found the kitchen. And of course... Sam, look. Maybe we can use that to find a window. Drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Sarah. But what are you doing? Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? So he waits to put a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. 
Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? No, we're in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ballroom. <laughs> Sam, you there? <clears throat> Sam? Sully? Great. you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> Recognize someone? No. I thought I did, but no. Hey, when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh, like dead, Art? Oh, no, more like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan! How the hell are you? Rafe. How long has it been? Ten years? Twelve? Fifteen. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. Really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. <laughs> that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big scores. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah. I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> But, um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With. We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel, you two kids have fun tonight. Just hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, old man. No, I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn Rafe! Fight. <laughs> well, you get my point. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? Nate? God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Okay. Power room. I can do this. God, why 
Why did I pick the power room? ci pagano abbastanza. Se dobbiamo fare anche gli elettrici... Eh, puoi dire di no. Ecco fatto. Oh, speriamo di non dover cambiare altri fusibili del cazzo stasera. Direi che per stasera può bastare. Ma che diavolo? Pronto? Circuit breakers. Ah, oh, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid. Where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but. Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the power, now would be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here. And it's right now. He has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. Scratch. Sully, we're stealing, remember? What if he calls my bluff? Uh, he won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once, going twice. Screw it. Then we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. And for a penny and for a pound. That bit brings Don't us worry. to 120. We'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Okay. Just gotta smash the lock. Now we have 130,000. Nope. We are now at 140. Nothing. Damn it. Signore takes us all the way to 150,000 euros. Gotta be something. Come on. Hey man, uh, starting to sweat bullets here. Yeah, give me a sec. Signore's bit makes 170,000. Yes. We 
are now at 180,000 euros in the room. Feeding has now reached 190,000 euros. Gotcha. My goodness, we are now at 200,000 euros. All right, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's speed, 210,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? <laughs> Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> okay, let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once. Going twice? Then I shall sell it for 500,000. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The back of power will come on shortly. It's gone. Move it! Get out of the way! Stop him! Hey, stop that guy! Fermo. What are you doing? You let him get away! You speak Spanish. What? Sam, tell me you got the cross. I got St. Dismas right here. You want to say hi? Yeah, we really kicked the hornet's nest down here. Ballroom's locked down, security scrambling. Hey, Victor, where's our getaway? Come to the driveway out front. Just follow the spotlights. I'll bring the car around. vicino alla torre. Devi farlo sapere a tutti, cazzo. E gli occhi aperti. Farlo sapere a tutti, cazzo! Tieni gli occhi aperti!
Ci penso io! 